In 1944, at the height of World War II, the United States made a major investment in the nation's social safety net, aimed at boosting education and promoting upward mobility. Commonly known as the GI Bill of Rights, the program sought to integrate 16 million veterans returning from World War II back into civilian life. But like many of the governmental systems put in place during the Jim Crow era, the GI Bill, in practice, systematically excluded most African Americans. The GI Bill provides returning soldiers and veterans a range of benefits, including mortgages to purchase homes, job training, loans to go to school. And this really was instrumental in creating a new American middle class. The GI Bill had the potential to put the American people on a level playing field, but black soldiers who came back, who were prepared and anxious to get higher education and buy homes, were not able to ascend into the middle class the same way that whites were. When the GI Bill was being drafted and debated in Congress, Representative John Rankin of Mississippi played an enormous role as chairman of the House Committee on Veterans Affairs an unabashed racist and an unapologetic defender of Jim Crow, Rankin persuaded his fellow lawmakers to make the implementation of the bill the responsibility of the individual states. States and localities that had long histories of discriminating against African Americans were in some respects given carte blanche to close blacks out of things like in college education and home ownership. Great wealth generating mechanisms in the American experience. While black people went to colleges at numbers larger than they had in previous times, they have never been able to get into colleges at the same rates as people who are white. The other thing is banks were discriminating in terms of loans. We didn't have access to houses at the point when you could really get in and accumulate wealth. So if we wonder why blacks aren't part of serious wealth holders in this society, why there's a 13, 14, 15, maybe even 20 to 1 gap in wealth holdings, that's a piece of it. We really did have a moment in the history of the country where we could have closed the gap and made up for all the legacy and burden of slavery and Jim Crow and discrimination that had happened. Things like the GI Bill really had the potential to improve the quality of life and the future for African Americans. But discrimination and racism intervened. 